All right, guys, welcome back. Another upgrade video this time. It's gonna be totally comfort. I'm gonna do the rider backrest install. John is here to help me. I'm gonna be installing it on my 2020 Electra Glide Standard. These are the bikes, but before we even dive into it, please do me a favor, go to my channel and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications every time a new video drops. So. So the backrest that I'm going to be actually installing right now is the Harley adjustable uh, rider backrest. I'll put a link down by the description where you can find it. And we're going to be installing it, setting up uh, all the, the parts in advance, and you're going to get the proper tools. Obviously, we need to start with uh, getting the seat off. And you like this little bolt, need, uh... little bolt over here that I'm uh, unscrewing, and this little uh, black uh, coated plate actually uh, you can find them down by the description i got them on amazon i think it puts a nice little touch uh, blocking that whole thing up so let's uh, get the the seat off the seat is off now let's work our magic right here this is obviously going to be the base that goes under the seat backrest that is uh the cable that connects with this uh toggle switch that lets you actually uh readjust or adjust the seat back and forward triple triple play forgot what it's called by uh custom dynamics that gives me the the tail light functionality so clear up this whole area this is cleared up an item i'll get tomorrow from the bracket over here uh, the kit actually includes this little patch over here so uh, with the two-sided tape gonna glue it and stick it right over here this bracket with the uh, the main hardware we'll call it, call it the uh, supporting bracket the big bracket the mechanism on it attaching this small bracket just so connected these connected these uh, bolts that were provided part of the kit and now the two bolts holding the seat put the nuts on these two bolts okay using a nice big washer over here to get a lot of support and tighten those down come on faster please guys this bracket right here uh, with this lever with the right orientation, as you see right here, connected with the cable right there. Now it's going right here under my heat deflector, right there on the bottom, needing to get that bolt, that bolt out. What size socket is it? Did you get it in yet? That's a Freak Norker flash stabber valve. No, it's not. <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> That's what you call a uh, flambound valve. A flambound valve? I thought it was a bolt. There you go. Perfect. It fits. <clears throat> and the size is? Get that camera on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Put stuff like that in. I said, of course. <laughs> no, but you know what? <laughs> The a high point ride, yeah. a lot of people got to laugh. Remember at the when we were oh, yeah. assuming that uh, if you don't have a, a heat deflector and the, you don't have those bolts, the kit actually comes with those bolts. I'll check in a second and tell you. Run that cable in. Like so. There you go. Run it through until it pops out on the other side right here. Pops out of your dupa. Upside. <laughs> There you go, those gynecologist fingers of yours. There you go, it goes all the way. And eventually connects to the mechanism. I need a pair of dikes. Don't we all? Don't put that in. Very tight over there, but place that lever over there. Oh, we're taking a short break because the motor is, uh, the engine is too, too hot. Pulling it down right now. 
But I'd, at this uh, point, I'd like to ask you to please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. If you wanna watch more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. So let's get on with the video. Engine too warm. So we are going, gotta have very, very needle, needle fingers. And the cable coming out of the other side attaches right here in the bottom. So now we're gonna tighten that, that bolt. pushing all the excess of cable right here the extra cable right there push it in and it comes out from the other side fuel and zip tie it fuel pack just dropped what no oh, felt yeah. <laughs> no bad words. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, nice. Now let's put the seat back on and see what it looks like. Completed. That was actually very easy. Uh, quick, easy. Yeah, it was really easy, especially you didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was with the camera, dude, the whole time. I'm with the camera. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's put the seat back on. Where's the uh, screw? That's nice. Let me sit on it for a second. Sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, watch your language, young man. Isn't that awesome? It is. Now I'm ready for 2,000 miles in a day. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Let's play around with it. Higher, higher. No, no, no. Higher. Right here. Oh, there it is. Now it, click it. Oh, nice. And it's a lot of back support. Locks. Oh, nice. Really. And just click it over here. That is very nice. I like the adjustability. You know, really nice. That's comfy. And this, and this moves up and up and down as right. well, right? Yep. This. Oh, yeah. Comfy. That's nice. Yeah. Really nice. Guys, you should try this. I mean, not expensive, relatively speaking, of course, Harley, you know. But this is nice. This is real. I'm ready. I'm ready for the long rides dude looks like you're on your couch <laughs> oh nice Okay, guys that's it for now thank you so much hope you enjoyed this video i appreciate it if at this stage you go ahead and give me a thumbs up there you go and if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that beautiful subscribe button 
I'm Sandy from Holy Shit. Oh. Holy shit, you said it. <laughs> I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Till the next video, peace out. <laughs> <laughs>